Thank you. Um, I have a question about how can I apply this to getting things done around the house? <laughs> Wonderful question. By asking yourself, what is it that I want and why do I want it? Well, I want things to be done around the house. Why do I want it? Because I like to live in order and I like to be on top of things and I like to feel productive and I like things to go well and I like to live in order and I like things to flow well and I like the feeling of alignment that I get with all of that. So now with statements like that, you do the energy work first mm -hmm. and in that alignment, then you will be inspired. Now you're tuned in, tapped in, turned on, to the result you want and now in that alignment the people or the ideas of your own activity will occur to you at just the right time when you take the time to do the coming into alignment first by envisioning the results that you want by the best way of describing it for years we've been saying find the feeling place of what you want now as we've been describing this vortex this vibrational gathering of all things that you have been asking for as you feel the power of this vortex your work is to get into the vortex your work is to get into the proximity of the vortex and so any story that you tell that moves you in the direction of the vortex get inside the vortex what does it feel like to be fabulously wealthy what does it feel like to have utter financial security and don't just answer the question and leave it hanging there try to answer the question oh it just must feel wonderful it must feel so good to make decisions about what I'm doing not based on how much it costs but solely upon whether I want to participate in it or not mm. what would it feel like to feel vital and alive and frisky in my body what does that feel like what does it feel like to feel alert what does it feel like to feel exhilarated or excited what's the feeling of passion what does it really feel like when was the last time I felt passion what was that feeling like what's it like to be in love what's that feeling like what's a feeling of well-being feel like what does it feel like to wake up and lie in my bed and know that everything is all right to sensually feel the fabrics upon me and know that well-being in other words you you got to work at this you have to focus your mind into finding those feeling places that is your work that is your work step one happens <laughs> Step one happens. We will never say to you, step one is your work. You don't have to work at step one. People show up and act like jerks. <laughs> step one happens automatically. Things happen. You don't have to work at step one. Step one is happening to you, really. Uh -huh. Step two isn't your work. Step two is happening for you. That source riding the rocket. Your work is step three. Your work is finding the feeling place. Your work is feeling good. Your work is looking for positive aspects. Your work is getting on rampages of appreciation. Your work is trying to find a thought that feels better. Your work is reaching for a feeling of relief. Your work is here I am. I can lean downstream, upstream. Here I am. That's it. That's my work. Am I going to be optimistic or pessimistic? Am I going to make more trouble of this or less trouble of this? Am I going to stir the pot of trouble or am I going to soothe the pot of trouble? Am I going to throw gasoline on the fire and make it worse or am I going to throw water on the fire and make it better? Am I a lover or a hater? Am I a complimenter or a complainer? Do I shine or do I cover myself up? Do I amplify the positive aspects in myself and others or do I amplify the negative aspects? These are easy choices choices these are really easy choices and it's 100% of your work you are the perfect person for us to come to this culmination with this seminar as we are visiting because we're saying tell a new story and you're saying oh am I ever sensitive to the story I'm telling seriously and we say tell a new story and you say oh I'm so sensitive to the story that I'm telling do you have any advice for me and we say, tell a story that feels better. And you say, but this story doesn't feel good. We're mocking you, aren't we? Slightly. <laughs> well, we are appreciating the clarity that uh, you brought to this part of the seminar because it, it really is about telling a story that feels good in your gut, period. Telling a story that feels good in your gut. And we would recommend that you let the story be about whatever it is that's active right now. In other words, if somebody is really annoying you, it's a good time to tell a better story. It's a hard time to tell a better story, <laughs> but it's a good time to tell a better story. But then don't just leave it there. When you get away from it, 
and you're feeling better, now embellish the story and cement yourself into the new, better feeling place. And before you know it, you'll never go back to those really bad feeling stories. And then the feeling will, instead of being one that feels like fear, instead of being gut-wrenching, instead of really being uncomfortable, it'll just be slight uneasiness. And the only time you'll really feel that is if there's something really important that you're really in contradiction about. Very good. Thank you. Yes, indeed. <laughs>